Let's answer a very important question for Steam Deck users. Should you increase the frame buffer size for this from 1 gigabyte to 4 gigabytes or not? This is basically the VRAM. It's basically uh, something that it will be used as a graphic memory. Well, let's test it. First of all, I will, uh, I will set it to 256 megabytes and uh, we will test it with the same game. After that, I will increase it to one gigabyte and after that, I will increase it to four gigabytes and you will see which is the best choice for you. And my advice, watch this tutorial because it will change the way that you play with your Steam Deck your performances and it's nothing what you expect it's nothing at all should you increase the vram in your bios settings or not that um, vram frame buffer size from one gigabyte to four gigabytes well don't do that in instead of increasing that um, virtual uh, ram basically that graphics memory from one gigabyte to four decrease it yes decrease it at minimum from one gigabyte to 256 megabytes and you will get better performance in this moment i have um, the minimum um, uh, option selected 256 gigabyte uh, megabytes and as you see here, we get three VRAM 3.1 gigabytes and RAM 11.74, the Callisto protocol. Let's go and let's increase it to one gigabyte and after that to four gigabytes. And let's see the differences. Don't forget that uh, virtual uh, RAM allocation, that VRAM, it's basically a part of your memory so if you increase it you will have basically a blocked um, part of your uh, of your ram of your uh, graphics memory uh, in this case so uh, you will have lower resources for games keep in mind this isn't okay let's go and let's increase uh, let's uh, increase it to one gigabyte as I said, the game was running with 256 megabytes. Let's change it to one gigabyte. This is the standard, um, uh, uh, the standard amount for this uh, frame uh, buffer size for this uh, VRAM. Let's uh, save and exit and let's try the same game. As you see here, VRAM 2.9, with the previous setup for VRAM at 256 uh, megabytes, I had here instead of 2.9, I had 3.1, and now we have RAM 10.4 gigabytes, with my previous gameplay I had 11.7. It's a it's a huge difference, and you will uh, you will notice uh, notice that uh, in uh, in your game. Let's go and let's change it to let's change that VRAM in BIOS to four gigabytes, and let's see what happens here and what is the experience with uh, with the games. Don't forget that when you increase that VRAM basically you will block an amount of your um, uh, ram basically of your graphics and you want the games won't be able to to use that resource so for the game you won't get more than 10 for uh, 10.4 gigabytes here in this case this is uh, this is the maximum which is bad compared with previous uh, uh, setup let's go and let's change it let's change the vram to four gigabytes so let's change uh, the vram from uh, one gigabyte to four gigabytes and let's see the differences in game so now i have the same game but i have the vram selected to four gigabytes and as you see here, we have something very, very strange compared with first um, uh, scenario. 
Now we have VRAM 2.8 compared with 3.1 first time. And now the RAM, it's only 8.6 gigabytes compared with almost 12 gigabytes the first time, 11.7. So at this point, we get um, uh, that uh, VRAM <coughs> increased at four gigabytes, but it won't help you because you will lose resources. I, uh, I made some stickers here to, to, to make it easier. First time, we got VRAM at 256 megabytes and we get RAM 11.7 gigabytes, which is, which is incredible. You have a lot of hardware at your disposal. But if you, if you increase the VRAM to one gigabyte, you will lose also here, you get 2.9 gigabytes available for VRAM. Uh, if you increase the VRAM at 4 gigabytes, you will get in games only 2.8 gigabytes of video RAM compared with 3.1. And the RAM, this one, as you see, 8.6 gigabytes compared with 11.7. So don't increase to 4 gigabytes in any case. Uh, is is the biggest mistake and after um, I play uh, I played uh, Uncharted with four gigabytes because I saw tutorial on web and when I uh, when I got to 256 it was another experience because I had almost 12 gigabytes of RAM at, at uh, games disposal as you see here um, we have at this point 8.6. You won't get more um, for this game. But if you uh, if you decrease your VRAM to 256 megabytes in BIOS, well, you'll get 11.7 gigabytes here available with 3.1 gigabytes of v VRAM. My advice, this is what I do. I uh, I changed my VRAM to 256, the smallest option in BIOS. Uh, when the console is off, press volume up and on off until it will enter that um, BIOS menu and just change that VRAM. It's, it's very, very easy. I saw a lot of comments. Do you have the VRAM selected to four gigabytes? No, it's the biggest mistake. So be very careful what you do, because if you increase that VRAM, you will block basically a part of your hardware. That part of four gigabytes, they will be reserved for anything else than your game. So you will lose from the start a lot, a lot of, uh, of memory. Basically, this is the difference what you see here, what you will uh, reserve in, in BIOS with that VRAM, you see the difference here, 8.5 versus 11.7 gigabytes, 2.8 versus 3.1. So don't increase the VRAM is the biggest mistake.